Hey guys, um, welcome to another RMA Fire tutorial and this is the continuation of my previous tutorial on how to affect particle smoke from our sculpture. So let's have a look at what we have. We have our initial, initial particle uh, simulation which we are going to render in this node. So just put this down here and say out render. And I'm going to color it red so that I know that's the one that I'm going to render here. Uh, then we have the smoke. So we already have the out smoke here. So we're going to take this into another context. And we have the affected particles. So out affected. So this one we are gonna render in this one in this node. Then we are gonna do another node here, and here's where we're gonna bring in the affected particles. And we're gonna do one more for the pile. And we have to say input this object. So there we go, we have everything there. Um, we have already configured our particles here. So global scale 0.06, redshift, particles, global scale 0 0.06. Um, and I have done p scale 0.1 to 1. So let's copy this and let's paste it here. And that's going to say RP scale fit 01 using the ID. Uh, and it's going to fit that between 0.1 and 1 in the scale of the particles. And, um, and for our smoke, let's see, we can come in here and let's create a material. We're going to, I'm going to make sure that this basic material is also applied. So it's also applied in the particles. And we're gonna do RS material and R redshift material and RS volume. Sorry, let's do the rid of this, connect this here and say smoke. So here we're just gonna say this is our smoke material. I'm gonna go ahead and save. And let's just uh, one step at a time. I wanna see if the firewall is working. Cool, so we know that our pyro is definitely working. Now let's see what happens when we render it out with the particles. So the pop advective particles, these ones, are quite a bit large. So what I'm gonna do is I am gonna come here, particles, and reduce their scale. So 
So that works, but I want the ones that are closer to her to just be slightly larger. So I'm gonna drop an attribute block. Let's just delete incoming attributes right there to just keep it clean. I do not want to delete the page. So let's see what happens if we do a RAM based on the age. this bot I will find import my P scale so I'm importing the P scale that we had already created by the ID but I'm gonna multiply this by the color that we are tweaking right now and then find export that again as our P scale Scale. And let's just drop down the sphere and copy stamp this sphere at a scale of 0.1 onto this point just so that we can visualize what's happening to see if it's actually working or if it's not working. Just uh, too many points, so what I'm gonna do is an attribute. Uh, I'm gonna do a delete temporarily while we tweak tweak this, just for the sake of visualizing. Because this way we'll be able to see. So if we connect that to the age, you can see that something's happening. Let's see what happens if we add a ground. see that that's actually working nicely because the first ones are that scale and the other ones are, are are the actual scale that we've set up here so that that's essentially what I wanted to do so I'm gonna I'm just gonna leave it like that 
this is just for visualization and save come back to our camera And let's just visualize what that's going to give us. So like if you make the particle scale smaller or closer to the character, you'll see that it feels more broken apart. But like this, it's going to feel in, feel like it's a little bit more filled in at the, at the start and then they get smaller over, over time. And eventually just totally disappear. Turned off the smoke for a sec. I'm gonna see what happens if we make them overall larger. Actually, that makes them smaller. Sorry. This way we can exaggerate the effect, as you can see. See what that's gonna give us. So now we can increase them overall in size here. Let's try three. And that's kind of what I want. See, they start at the same size as what we had there and then they disappear and totally disappear. If we bring in the 
the smoke. The smoke is going to be driving the entails of what we had there. And then with the ramp, you can control whether you want to extend that or with the H that we had there, you can see that you can kind of like push them out a little more if you want them to be smaller or with, even with the multiply, just reduce that if you wanted them to be existing out here a little bit longer. But anyway, guys, that was the way that I'm going to approach rendering this um, and uh, we'll be back with more.